And good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy off day. Woohoo! Who's off today? Me. <laughs> Is anybody else off today? I don't know. Uh, so I had a my little hair dryer roly thing. It uh, apparently when it smells like fire, it quits working. I don't know what happened, but after I used it day before yesterday. I was like, well, that smells like fire, fire hot, fire bad. It didn't catch on fire. It just smelled, well, I guess it more smelled like smoke, but mm. anyway, so I had to use my bigger hair dryer. It's more made for when I have longer hair. So it really straightened it. I don't think it's terrible though. I mean, I think it's fine, straight. And then I had to use the little straightener because <laughs> it was too big to get up under here. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I had to do that. But I wanna show y'all one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. I mean, that's exaggerating a little bit. I'm going out in the cold to show you this without a coat on. See this right here? This is called a brick, I don't know, brick hanger. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, you just put it like that, okay? Like so. And then it has these little hooks where you can hang things. Hang, hang things, hang things. So look, isn't that pretty? And that gray matches the gray of my porch. That's also how that star's hanging. So I just wanted to show y'all how cool it is. <laughs> Cut, take two, where'd it go? <laughs> they weren't supposed to do that. Uh, all right, so, <laughs> all right, take three. All right, so we, we take the little hooky thing and we hook it through that little hooky thing. Except I'm gonna do it on the bottom hooky thing, just cause. Take four, and then all we do is, uh-oh, now the sign under me is falling. Okay, we just rest it upon the, the brick, the top of the brick, right there. And if it's not centered, that's too bad, cause this thing's falling. I have awesome camera skills, okay? <laughs> anyway, isn't that cute? You can find them on Amazon. I, I don't know if they're in my Amazon store. Oh, for the love. I still have a, a fall wreath up. <gasps> the horror, the absolute horror. Let's take that down and I'll have to find something to replace it that looks more like Christmas. It may just be my, I have a wreath with little cotton balls. When them cotton balls get rotten, you can't pick very much cotton in that old cotton fields back home. This is also one of my favorite things, just the bucket itself. I got it at an antique store and I just loved it. And I just put those yellow flowers in it. I bought it last year, but I just saw it and thought I would show you. And this is, did I show y'all my silver tree? I think I did. And I got the white with the gold and then it's got a little gold battery operated, which I'm not crazy about. And I can never find the box to turn it on. <laughs> And then this is also one of my favorite things. And I just set these in here. Isn't that cute? Just a few of my favorite things. Penny wants to go for a walk. I don't think she realizes how cold it is, but we'll be back. Alrighty, now we're out walking. And I've got on my cute hat that Kim got me. She ordered this from Etsy. I don't know. I don't know the name of the store, but it's uh, a lot thicker. It's like a double layer, it, not a double layer, but it's got a lining. So 
so it's a lot warmer. Although, <laughs> even though it's freezing temperatures, 32 degrees, I think, feels like 27 now, it doesn't feel that bad. I mean, I'm not even wearing gloves, so it doesn't feel that bad. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because I have on my furry Crocs and my <laughs> warm hat and I'm not losing my heat. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, the other day when I posted the thing about north, south, east, west. Now, when I'm standing right here in my area that I'm comfortable with, that I know Marietta, Georgia, then I know north, east, south, and west. I know it when I'm here. However, when I was in, I think I was in Wyoming or headed to Wyoming with Reba and I was trying to be the navigator because this was before cell phones and apps that help you get to where you're going. I was holding the map and I was turning it in 400 directions trying to figure out how to guide her to wherever it was that we were going. <laughs> and she was like, don't you know you're north from your south and you're east from your west? I said, well, yeah, when I'm at home. She said, Tracy, the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. I said, I, I'm very aware of that. However, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's straight up overhead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't followed the sun today because I've been looking at this flipping map. I don't know where we are. <laughs> I can get lost really quick. <sighs> now we have cars that have north, south, east, and west on the little mirrors or on something in your car. The newer cars have them, so I can make it kind of, sort of, I, yeah. She said, well, let's see. I forgot what she said, something like moss grows on the north side, or I don't know. She started saying all this stuff, and I was like, well, okay, Pocahontas, just get us to where we're going. I don't, I don't know. She's a Choctaw, Native American Choctaw, uh, from the Choctaw tribe of Mississippi. That's why I called her Pocahontas, even though Pocahontas was Cherokee. <laughs> and then me and my mom got lost, and we were in, speaking of Cherokee, we were in Cherokee, North Carolina, and I was trying to figure out how to get somewhere. And again, before cell phones. And I don't even know that we had a map because I knew my way to Cherokee and back. Been there a million times. So we turned down this wrong road and then I had to turn around and I turned around in this driveway and there were all these Native American people out in the yard and they were drinking or so it seemed and they were around a bonfire and when I pulled up in the driveway to turn around they took off running towards us screaming y'all I have never driven so fast in all my life I was like I think we're I think we're about to meet Jesus mama we gotta go I don't know why they're running after us, but we've got to go. That was scary. Yeah, that was, uh, that's my navigation skills. I hear you barking at me. Penny did not want to put on her coat this morning. I put it on her and then she just stood real still like she wasn't going to walk. Look at my little fur ball. It's like glowing in the sunshine. <laughs> I took her coat back off. I was like, all right, you can just be cold then. My hand is getting cold, holding it up in the air like this. So I'm gonna stop for now. I'll be back. 
What would Christmas be without my creepy nutcrackers? Creepy nutcrackers. I love nutcrackers, but they're a little bit creepy. This one's not showing his face. He's super creepy. He's a deputy sheriff. And I also have a police officer. And I have them dudes, whatever they are. And uh, he's a toy maker. And he's a something. He's a drummer. He's creepy. And then over here on this side, we have creepy dolls. They were my mother's creepy dolls. She absolutely loved these things. <laughs> So, I have to keep them and put them out. I don't, they have a name, and I don't remember the name of them. Department 56 or something? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Except creepy. And I always say she looks like my grandmother, even though she really doesn't, but... I don't know. That's just what I always picture. This is uh, Francis. I mean, not Francis. Uh, Maud. Yeah, with that weird hair. But anyway, <laughs> there's my creepy collection. And I just had that in the thing, the box. So I put it down and I put some greenery around. And I'll keep fiddling with it, but... Anyway, there's that. Okay, me and the Divine Miss Pen are going for a ride. Me and the Divine, no, the Divine Miss Pen and I are going for a ride. Are we going for a ride, baby? I texted my coworker who's at the office and I said, hey, <laughs> if I drive by, Will you unload two boxes of paper for me? And he said, yes. Yes, that's what he said. Yes. Y-A-Z-Z-Z-Z. -Z -Z -Z. <laughs> He's so silly. He is. He's so funny. He lives in a camper right now. And he loves the camper life. However, he didn't realize that... He's living like in his friend's, on his friend's property. He didn't realize that his camper, RV, whatever, is right next to the chicken coop. And he said there's really nowhere else to move the RV to for it to hook up. So he gets awakened every morning, <laughs> bright and early by the roosters. <laughs> so... I always, uh, if I have to leave him a note on his desk, I draw a chicken or a rooster on the note. Because I like to antagonize. Is that the right word? That sounds a little aggressive. I just like to mess with people for fun, you know? I never want to hurt feelings, but I do love to mess with some people. I thought, well, gosh, we'll just take Miss Penn for a ride. You want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? <laughs> we, we can kill those proverbial birds with the stone. Yeah. However, if I had left her at home, well, I might can take her in and check my box, my mailbox. Because somebody said be on the lookout for a Christmas card. And I was like, a Christmas card? Oh, I can't wait. It might not be there yet, but I need to check it anyway because I haven't checked it in a couple of weeks. It's best if you do send me something to let me know you sent it because I, well, to be honest, ever since my Chick-fil-A closed down, I don't come over there. I don't come over there. Ooh. I don't go over that way much because my office is that way. So, the only way, I, the only reason I go that way is because of the Chick-fil-A and, you know, get me a lemonade and I would go check my mailbox. <laughs> well, anyway, 
we see how that goes. But I might try to take her in there with me and just tell people, don't talk to us and don't look at us. Mm -mm. Don't try to pet her because you'll be diseased. I don't have much else to talk about today. It's been kind of a... I haven't done a lot today, which is nice because I needed the rest. But I did want to take those last two boxes of Christmas stuff out and go ahead and go through them since I got everything else done. And in the box where the nutcrackers were, I had some beautiful gold trimming, tree, you know, garland. So I put that on the silver tree. So it's silver and gold. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I never thought about having a silver and gold tree. Plus it has copper on it. So it's just all metallic and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would love to see your tree pictures if you have your tree up or any sort of decorations that you put up, even if it's just a small little tabletop tree. I would love to see them. That would be awesome to look at, wouldn't it? And we could get ideas from other people and how they decorate. I know someone who did it. Oh, I got something in my eye. I, I'm not just blinking to flirt with you. <laughs> I know someone who did a peppermint tree and it is gorgeous. She did, it was a green tree with white flocking, flocking, but she did a red and white striped ribbon and then she did these, they were like red poinsettias, but they were trimmed in white and then she had giant like peppermint candies on it with red spiky things sticking out. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Remember that I love you and Jesus loves you. And we hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which is when? Tomorrow. Hit the like button. Like, love, laugh, care, whatever you want to hit. hit. Don't hit mad. I don't think that's good for the channel when you hit mad but if you would hit any of the others that would greatly help me so anyway ta-ta for now <laughs>